Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator. I'm using 221, same can be for 220, 219, except the radial features that I'm going to be showing. So I want to warp some type. You can warp type and it's live, so you can edit the type at any point. However, unfortunately, if you want to actually use it in anything else, most times you have to expand it. So it is a destructive effect, ultimately. So make with warp. There's a number of other ways to do it as well. I'm going to go through those as well quickly. So make with warp. So straight away, you've got some warp. Now defaults the arc. And you can see what you can do. You've got various options here, vertical, horizontal. You can change the bend. You can change horizontal. And you can distort it in all kinds of ways. Once you're happy with it, click OK. And that's it. You've warped your type. However, what you can do, you can edit it. Direct selection tool. Let's go over here. And you can select the individual points. So you can distort it a bit more than the, the sort of default style. And you can still. Now, to be honest, sometimes it actually gets in such a mess that it's very hard to sort of get out of that. So you can also change, obviously, these handles here. You go pop up there and you can distort it even more. All kinds of different ways. So you can create some very unusual type designs. However, let's just go back with that. I want the word type so you can see it went too far back. What you can also do, you can use object and envelope distort and make with mesh. This one gives a nice grid across it. Now default 4x4, perfect reasonable, and you click OK. And again, exactly the same as before, what you can do, you've got here the direct selection tool. And you can select across there, maybe select multiple. You don't have to select multiple, you can select one, but you can select multiple and then just drag that. So you can see you can distort design that way. You can go over a whole lot of those and distort that. So you can crunch it up. All kinds of different distortions. Just drag that. But you can also do it just with one. So you just select that one. So that point there. And then you can move that. So you can distort it there. Also what you can do, object and envelope distort. And there's options here. Reset, reset with mesh. So you can reset it. So if you decide, you know what, I don't want that. Reset with mesh. Click OK. Now, to be honest, <laughs> doesn't reset it particularly well, but anyway, it's close enough. And you can just drag those. To be honest, I think it's just as easy sometimes when you get into a thing with, and I quite often do with this, I love this feature, but sometimes it gets in such a mess, I just delete the type completely and just go back to completely fresh. So just select that. And also you can edit the contents. So if you decide, you know, oh, you think, oh, crap, so I've made a spelling mistake. Well, obviously I haven't, but but you could have made a mistake. So I could turn around and say, well, I can change that. You can go to Object, Envelope, Distort, and Edit Contents. And I can think, you know what, I didn't want type. Nope. I wanted the word text. So text could be put there. So you can change it. What you can also do, you can also go to Object, Envelope, Distort, and Edit Envelope. And then you can still continue to edit the envelope, which is quite nice. So again, direct selection tool, and you can modify that. You can select that point, and you can change these points. And again, you can continue modify it all kinds of different ways. Well, what you can also do, let's just undo that now. I'm just going to envelope distort and release. Now, the end result of that, I never find is very much use. To be honest, I just go back to the word type. Just as easy. Quite often, I think another thing that's probably a good idea when you're using type or anything, I often just make a copy. Because sometimes I know that I'm going to end up with a situation where I've just made a mess of it. I'm not happy with it. And undoing is actually quite a hassle sometimes. It's never particularly super. It should work, but I've never found it particularly always coming back exactly the way that I think it should. But maybe that's me. Now, what you can also do, object and you can envelope, distort, and make with top object. Now, I haven't got a top object at the moment, so I'm just going to create one. And that's just, you could be any shape. It doesn't have to be, it could be star, it could be a rectangle, but I'm going to go with ellipse. So just create a quick ellipse, top object there, select both. Now, the ellipse is the top object, and so object, and go down to envelope, distort, make with top object. And it's crunched into there. And again, you can still resize it, rotate it, do all those sort of things. And you can also still edit this thing. So you can just simply drag that. So if you don't want the circle there, you can still move those and the handles. You can change, change the design in all kinds of different ways using that as well. 
and you've still got the options here. Object, envelope distort. Now, envelope options, there's not particularly many. Anti-aliasing, clipping mask, etc. So, click OK. Once you're happy with it, object, and then down to envelope, and you can expand. And it becomes, obviously, just text. Now, it's not text that you can edit. So you can't change this. You can't go over here to the type tool and edit. That's it. It's finished. Now, what you can also do, you've also got a, a destructive, straight away a destructive effect. And that's just going to hit type. Just expand that out again. And what you can do, you can go over here to the various warp tools. There's a C uh, warp, twirl. For some weird reason, width isn't there. I've never understood why width isn't connected to that. It seems an odd place to put it. I suppose it's just as good as anywhere, but it seems a bit odd. Well, I'm just going to we warp, but they're all much the same. They all do various things, distortions of the type. So warp tool, and you can see what you can do. You can press return, and it brings up some options. So you've got width, height, angle, intensity. Now I've got it full on, 100%. Also, you can set a number of warp options. You can create some interesting designs and changes just by simply changing these. And I've done tutorials on this how the details simplify. You can re just create some interesting design just by changing these, not hardly touching these at all, but also combining with these as well. You can make different things. So if you've got like 100 here and 500 here, you can use the angle as well. So you can create some interesting designs there. And you can see then you've got the, the brush becomes an angle. However, you can't do it with types. You just see that it comes up with a message. What you need to do is expand it. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't automatically expand. It's weird because in lots of Photoshop stuff or Illustrator stuff, it quite often does it for you. This one, it doesn't. Most odd. So object and expand. So you expand it. And now what you can do, you can use the distortion. So you can distort it in numerous kinds of ways. And you can create some very interesting, weird and wonderful type like that. But what you can also do is you can now it's expanded and haven't got an envelope or anything nothing now the envelope feature does not work with radial i wish it would it would be lovely if it did but it doesn't well it works with it after i'm going to show you that one but it doesn't work in a way that you can't sort of go over here object envelope distort make with warp and now I've got, so i've got an envelope now go to object and repeat it's not available but however you can work with the results of it which is odd. So I've got this design here. Now I can just go over there and I'm just going to quickly go to object and repeat radial. So you can see you can create this lovely design like this and you can obviously change this and number of instances, also the radius, so you can increase this. But also what you can do, you can double click on the word type. So you get down to the bare bones and also you can actually go to the individual characters. So you can change the individual characters now. In the, this is an isolation mode, just over here, you're in isolation mode. When you double click, you go into this mode where you can... Another way of looking at it is these layers. Layers panel is the most useful panel layer. So you've got here, you've got all the individual, and you can see there, T has got a little there. So you can modify this, and you can modify that one. And seeing, as soon as you see I chain, selected a different character, it came up, changed that little red marker there. And you can change colour. So let's go for red. And you can see, you can change that, if I select it properly, and you can distort it. But you can also still continue with the warping. So you can simply go over here and you can see you can warp that design. And you can stretch it down there to create all kinds of weird and wonderful, actually quite a bit of a mess, I know. But, uh, and you can also say, go for the E. And you can distort that as well. And again, every single change is reflected all the way around. This is just one instance which is reflected all the way around the whole thing. So every single time you change it here, it changes all around the other 12 or so designs. And you can create all kinds of weird and wonderful sort of abstract. Anyway, <laughs> maybe too far. So again, you can come out of there. Once you've done that, you've got this design now. Looks more like a sort of, uh, hmm, don't know, sort of punk period, uh, sort of rough design. That, uh, or what you can also do, you can use the envelope distort on this. So if you want to, you can go to. And obviously, it isn't typed now, but you can still see the word T. What the sort of? You can go to object and envelope distort and make with warp, or maybe one of the other ones. So let's go with make with warp, just as good as any. 
and then you can go with say like arch and you can see now you can distort that so you can distort that one like that way and also you can still go over here to the direct selection tool and you can still modify that and you can modify. now once you've done this this very rough design you can't unfortunately the radial feature is gone the radial is gone so if you go over now over to layers let's just go layers it's very small i agree panel options let's just see let's just go for large might make it a bit better not much <laughs> not much better but uh, let's just see you can see the group envelope and that's it you can't go any further so the group everything's all been lost but you can still continue to distort this design and then once you're happy with that again what you can do you can continue to modify this but you can also object and down to envelope distort and expand because unfortunately you can't use the radial again be nice if you could but you can't so object expand and now of course what you can do object and repeat you can use it so that's a run through of some of the features that you can use to distort or warp type this of course others there's also effect and you can go into here down to distort and transform there's a free distort and of course you could classify some of these also for warping as well such as pucker and roughen etc they're just as good in terms of warping the design but more distortion i'm not certain how you define the word of warping well hope you found this tutorial of interest always adding new tutorials all the time about photoshop illustrator affinity photo affinity designer and many others also if you've got any questions please let me know put some comments saying this is wrong that's wrong or this is right always great to hear also a dislike or like always appreciated also please check out the channel please check out i've got quite a few videos and uh, please check them out all lots of illustrated ones got lots of photoshop ones creative cloud as well as affinity photo of course and all the others as well thank you much